good night, good early morning. This is Blood Queen Terrence, and I'm here to do your early morning bedtime readings from the midnight hour until you go to sleep. Midnight hour until you go to sleep. Early morning hour reading. I'm listening to Pandora. I might have to pause this video. <laughs> collectors need to know for their early morning hours from the midnight hour to sleep what's going on what do the collectors what else do the collectors need to know that they may not know you got pen new job career come and love me I think I'm Sorry about that. Not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I had just had to let that song play. But anyway, this is... I put it on mute. Um, This is um, Blood Queen Tarot. And I'm here to do your midnight hour, early morning reading. For the hours from the midnight hour until sleep. Um, So let's see what's going on. Um, what's crowning your energy is the thinking woman. What else you need to know for the, your hours from the midnight hour until you go to sleep is pen. New job career. 
something could be happening around your job in the morning. Regular morning hours, maybe you'll find out. Nine of Wands. Now all I'm doing now is clarifying the mini cards. Clarify the Eight of Wands. The Fool. Clarify the Two of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Emperor. We have the Ten of Cups. Clarify the Nine of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Uh oh, let's see what's going on. Let me see what's going on. Turn that down. I hope that's not blasting like that when I upload it. Okay, let's see this Knight of Wands. What is going on with the collective early morning hours? I see here someone is contemplating or wondering should they make a move. You have the Knight of Wands here first for your main portion of Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands is fire energy. It could be, uh, it's fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, but this also could mean um, a player, somebody who's in and out, not necessarily here for a long time, but a good time. Or it could be someone making a bold move to do something passionately. And it's clear this seven of pentacles is clarifying that knight of wands so someone could be <sighs> someone could be thinking about a move they made in the past wondering should, or wondering should they make this move because with the seven of pentacles and this knight of wands it looked like they made this they did this before Something you or someone else did before. Because the Seven of Pentacles is something you already invested seven times. So, it's Seven Pentacles here invested regarding this Knight of Wands energy. So, it could be something, like I said, you or someone else made a move on before. You did it before in the past. Or you're just weighing the pros and cons should you do it. Um. Should it, should you do it for the even the first time? But let's clear by a fire with this first night of wands. Clarify this first night of wands. And I say this first night of wands because it's two night of wands. The night of wands clarify the night of wands. So clarify the first night of wands. What is this night of wands? Mm. Path money path. A path of money is waiting for you to find it. So the seven of pentacles. I think it's you weighing out your pros and cons concerning taking action to do something that you haven't done before. That's what I think this is. Or the seven pentacles could be you thought about it seven times. You put thought into this, the seven of pentacles. I don't think you made this move yet. Because it's a path with money is waiting for you to find it. Or if you have made this move in the past, it could be concerning work. And you're contemplating um, finding a new job, some type of income, something. Something with money. When I ask for more information about the first Knight of Pentacles, another Knight of Pentacles came out. So, my first instinct was, this is you doing it. Whatever you're contemplating about, I believe you're going to do it. It's something to do with money. 
it's like your because the six of cups clarified the second night of night of wands. So it's like you're nostalgic about it. You're daydreaming about it. It's something I think it's something you've done before, but you're taking it to another level. Because it's like the Six of Cups is here. It's like you're daydreaming about it. What could happen? You're thinking about all the good things that could happen if you make this money move. So basically, it's a money move. Money move. Yep. Tonight, you're pondering making a money move. Money path. Yeah. I think you're going to actually do it. Or you're envisioning yourself doing it. <clears throat> and also with the Six of Cups, it could be someone you're getting assistance, help. Um, a, something or someone from your past could be assisting you also with the Six of Cups. It could be something you contributed to in the past that you're thankful that you did it. Because it could make this money move easier for you to maneuver. That's what the Six of Cups. If I said Six of Pentacles, I meant Six of Cups. That's what the Six of Cups can mean as well. Let me turn this off. Down. I got to turn that down. We're talking about money. Yeah, so like I said, this bottom portion right here. This is about you daydreaming. And going over in your mind some type of money move you're thinking about doing. It's something with money. It could be a career or something, a job, a new job offer because pen came out. And you're really, really, really thinking about it. You could have been thinking about this thing for seven months, seven weeks, seven days. But you put in a lot of thought, effort, a Practically, you put practical thought into it or you put in some type of work, practical, some type of effort into it that make this next level. <clears throat> it's a next level move. It's something you have done. Like, for example, say like you've been working at a business, a corporation For example, uh, you've been working at a corporation as a cashier and someone approached you to become the manager. Like a, It's like a next level position that you, you're not in a position, but you have some type of experience in it some way, somehow. That's the seven of pentacles is labor, manual, practical earthly labor you put into this money path that you're considering taking a leap of faith in. Well, it's not a leap of faith. It's just taking action towards because it's not the fool card. <clears throat> oh, well, I'll take that back. The fool card up here. Well, yeah. Uh, the fool card is up here. So, yeah, something... Because the two, the Knight of Wands came out, then I asked for more information, and another Knight of Wands came out. So, this could also mean you're following the footsteps of someone that you look up to. Because the Six of Cups is here. So, it could be someone from your past. It could be your dad was a cop, and he became lieutenant or whatever supervisor whatever a higher position and now you're 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 be, you're presented with the opportunity to follow those steps so it's like either you you're daydreaming you're daydreaming about this making this move but it's like this this came out this both is two nights so it's like um you see yourself making this move or you're following in somebody else's footsteps but, yeah, it's it's a money path. It could be related to work because, like I said, the pen came out. So, some type of opportunity with involving money could be work. So, what's crowning your energy? Like I said earlier, the thinking woman, this is crowning your energy. So, whether you're 
a male or a female. The thinking woman is here is crowning your energy. If you're a male here watching this, you can have a this thinking woman in your corner assisting you in making this decision or encouraging you to make this decision. But she's thinking. And she's here to help you. If you're a woman watching this, you are, you could be this thinking woman. You could be this thinking woman. If you are a male watching this, I think this is a woman here in your energy who's, um, because I think whatever it is that you're pondering, making a move about, is kind of, um, serious. It's kind of serious. It's something to think about. It's not something, it's something to think about. So, like I said, if you're a male watching this, this woman, this thinking woman, she got your back. This thinking woman right here. I'm going to read about her in a minute. Because this thinking woman, she, she, she thinks she ain't playing around. If you're a woman watching this video, you're embodying this thinking woman energy. Okay, so what clarified this... Eight of, this thinking woman was this eight of wands. This eight of wands is fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This eight of wands could be many things. It could be traveling. It could be technology, text messages, something with rapid movement going real fast through the air. It could be, some people also say this is the card of um, intercourse, having sex, whatever. Because um, these are still wands. So... Um, it's also a card of ascension. Like me, me personally, this eight of wands is the same as the six of wands to me, a victory. That's how I look at this card. Cause whatever you're doing, you're doing it fast and it's successful. It's like you sending somebody a text message. The text message is going to go through and it's going to get sent fast. You know, ain't no delay with this modern technology stuff. You send somebody a text, they're going to get it a second later. You know, so to me, this Eight of Wands is the same as the Six of Wands to me. Because the Eight of Wands could signify success too. And what clarified this Eight of Wands is the Fool. The Fool is the major arcana, I think, for Aries, the Fool card. But the Fool card is taking a leap of faith. Um, Whether you know the risk or don't know the risk, you're going to... Do it. It's like you're taking your chances, stepping out on a limb, taking a leap of faith. Or the fool card can also resemble being foolish. But I think in this aspect, since the thinking woman is here, this fool card, what I think this is, is you're receiving some type of message. You could get an email. Um, and your response is the fool energy. I yeah, that's what, yeah. You could be receiving this message from this thinking woman. Or someone in your energy is probably receiving some type of passionate communication. <clears throat> and I think your answer to this eight of wands energy is a yes. You're going to take this leap of faith, whatever this is. Clarify this eight of wands. <clears throat> what is this eight of wands? Because at this moment, I think it's text messages. <clears throat> You're receiving some type of message, a text, an email, messenger. And look what came out for the eight of wands. Diamond. You will be receiving a or giving a precious gift. And fire. Strong emotion, passionate love, or hate. I think this is passionate love. So, first off, what I think this is, I'm going to tell you straight up. Somebody could be planning to, that's why I said male energy. Because usually I don't, um, 
and although men could possibly watch this video, I don't say if it's a male watching. I don't take the male or masculine energy into consideration as I should, even though I'm, I'm fairly new reading. My first few videos, I haven't um, implemented the male energy. Um, that thing come out. So, for me to implement the masculine or male energy, and for me to see this like this, this look like a man um, thinking about proposing to someone. Because diamond is here, this eight of wands, you will be receiving or giving a precious gift. You could be proposing to someone because it's passionate love or hate. And I think it's passionate love. Um, this thinking woman could be your lover. This thinking woman could be your lover. She's texting you and you're, you're, uh, this is, you gonna do it. She's texting you. She's sending you some text messages and you're gonna take the leap of faith to propose. That's what I think this is. The thinking woman. Think about this thinking woman. Who is this thinking woman? Because <clears throat> like I said earlier, if you're a man watching this, this thinking woman, remember what I said? I said she she got your back. She, she ain't playing. She got your back, this thinking woman. So for me to say she got your back, take that leap of faith. She going to say yeah. Don't worry about a no. She's going to say yes. And it's not a wand's energy. If this is a man watching this or happen to watch this, you could be concerned with finances because you're you want to know and be secure that you're able to take care of her financially. So that's what these two of wands energy is. You could be thinking about um your father who married your mom or a male figure in your life who um got married or just think about your male friend in general who's married. And this Six of Cups could be giving you advice. Um, someone from your past or something from your past. Someone you know who's already married could be giving you good advice. So go ahead and um, take that leap of faith. But that's the first thing that came to me. When I seen this Eight of Wands and that Diamond and Fire come out was a man's going to propose. And at first I was thinking if this is a male watching this, this thinking woman could have been his mother. But this could be her. If this is a male and you're thinking about proposing, this is her. Because this thinking woman is sending you text messages. And you're responding to the text messages. Clarify this thinking woman. Yeah, see? Throne. Throne came out. Position of authority. Yeah. Little do she know. You're about to place her in a position of authority. Wife. Yeah. She holds a position of authority in your life. Yeah. So when I ask for more information about this thinking woman, I got two of swords. Two of swords is air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of swords could be her having no idea you're going to propose to her. Or it could be you not knowing what to say to her. You're <clears throat> mentally, you, you don't have enough information. Someone here don't have enough information. They feel blocked. Um, so they decide to probably not do nothing, but sit there. Something, somebody's at a standstill mentally or verbally, because source is your mind, or source can be words. So somebody, either you, if this is either you, or this thinking woman is feeling... Or maybe I could have gotten to some type of misunderstanding. She could have blocked you. And now she's sending you these text messages with this eight of wands. She could have blocked you. 
Y'all could have gotten to a disagreement and she blocked you. But what clarified the two of swords was this ace of pentacles. Now, this ace of pentacles is earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's earth energy. It's a pentacle. And this pentacle can mean many things. It can mean a, it can mean a, a new home, a vacation, a job. News of a child, birth, a raise, a bonus, and a proposal. That's what this Ace of Pentacles can mean. Let me see what this Two of Swords is. Clarify this Two of Swords. What is this? I'm trying to figure out what's this. Clarify this Two of Swords. Great good fortune. Okay, great, good fortune. This is clarifying this four leaf. The, the four leaf clover is clarifying this to a source energy. So now, what I think I know now is going on. There's going to be some men watching my video. There's some men or man. And he's searching for answers, high and low, everywhere. He want confirmation. You probably done got confirmation from a teacher, your mother, your sister, the sky. <laughs> and now you're on YouTube looking at tarot, searching for confirmation. And this two of swords energy could be her not having no idea. What you're up to. This is her. This is this thinking woman energy. She has no idea. And it's a good thing. This four leaf clover. Her not knowing is a good thing. Or she doesn't know about this great good fortune. But this is her energy. This thinking woman energy. She has no idea about this ace of pentacles. She don't know. She. Her not knowing could be the four leaf clover. The good luck. Or um. She have no clue about this. She don't know. Thinking woman. Let me. Let me pause this. Because I don't want my face. In. Okay. This thinking woman. I'm going to read this card. Number 47. I'm going to read it. Because this thinking woman. She ain't, she, she, she ain't playing. If you worried about if she going to say yes or no. She's going to say yes. Because I told you before she got your back. So she's not going to um, tell you no. If you propose to her, she's going to say yes. The thinking woman, female of wisdom or understanding. This card shows a woman holding a book, standing before a staircase, ready to lead you to higher understanding. This woman could be a friend who helps you. Let me turn the pages. This woman could be a friend who helps you express and understand your feelings, or she could be a teacher brought to your life at this time to take you in a new direction. This could also be a new love interest with a woman who is thoughtful, conscious, and aware. Or like the thinking man, the car could the like the thinking man, the car could represent a side of yourself that's ready to blossom and bring clarity and assistance to the world. If so, find your voice and let your wisdom shine. This is this thinking woman. And if this is not her, this is a male in this energy. This is a male. And what it's telling you, if you tap into your feminine quality of expression, knowing how to express your feelings, your emotions, you will still be in your position of authority. To tap into your feminine energy will 